Okay, so this is a setup for one independent variable. So what we're um, assessing here is the impact of light intensity on what colour that indicator changes to. That will tell us, that will give us a sort of an idea of how much carbon dioxide is used or how much carbon dioxide is being produced. You'll see we've got, I don't know whether you can see that mm -hmm. on there, you can? That's the cardboard box? Oh yeah. So you can see we've got a cardboard box and that's because we're just in a room with a... Um... Do, you, do you want to see you crawling around on the floor? <laughs> I feel guilty. There's a seat no, no, there. No. Oh, okay. So the cardboard box is just to keep all the extraneous light out. This is obviously where Miss Carter and Miss Allen work and they have the lights on. Puh, you would have thought. So I'm just going to take that away so that we can probably see it a little bit better. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we've done is we have, to alter the light intensity, we've varied the distance between the algae balls in the bottom of the tubes and the light. And you can see this has been running now for a couple of hours, so then we're going to have a look at the results as well. That the ones closest to have gone purple, and then we've got these kind of shades of orange, and then we've got yellow at the back. So I'm just going to, <laughs> I don't know whether this is going to work. Will that work? <laughs> I don't. Mm. Oh, yes! Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, look at that. <laughs> Super duper. So we've got purple which if you remember means that the carbon dioxide is being used up and the pH is going higher and therefore the indicator changes to purple as we come sort of down and the light gets further and further and further away we go through those shades of orange and into the yellow where obviously the furthest one away is not clearly getting enough light to photosynthesize and it's doing more respiration doesn't mean it's doing no photosynthesis, it's just doing more respiration. So the pH has gone down and it's gone yellow. Oh, and there we go, end full technicolour. So let's talk about measuring then. So you'll see that the, from the diagram, there were no little algae balls in those little pots of hydrogen carbonate indicator. So the first thing to do is to separate the algae balls after your time period has elapsed uh, from the indicator and then measure it. Now we could do it by eye and I could kind of, you know, if there was a little pH scale as well on these little pots, I could say, oh yeah, you know, this one's purple um, and therefore it's pH of this and therefore it's, you know, using more carbon dioxide up um, and I could say, oh, this one's orange and that one's yellow. But actually, we, what we're expecting is a sort of a gradation, aren't we? We're expecting that this is going to be photosynthesizing the best and then this one's still photosynthesizing quite well but not quite as well as this one. And we would expect to see a colour change between these. Now to me, those both look kind of, it's quite a nice shade of purple, but they are both purple to my eyes. And so to make it a bit more quantitative, then we would have to put that solution from the top into a colorimeter. And what we're going to measure is absorbance, um, which is a really good way of using a colorimeter to tell the difference between different shades. So we did this with the beetroot juice, for example. Um, that just makes it a bit better. It's a little less subjective than me going, oh, well, well, that might be a lighter purple than the other, and it might be a bit closer to magenta. Um, and of course for um, people who are red, green, yellow, red, green colour blind, some of these yellows and oranges are really quite difficult to distinguish, so you couldn't really do it by eye, I don't think, if you were colour blind. Um, so the idea here is then, so you can see that this is, can you see that one, a bit more purple in it? Um, you need to separate out the beads, so you just use a tea strainer to separate out the beads or decant or um, use a dropper to extract the solution. It's a good idea to give them a bit of a swirl first because you can see that purple now is really coming out of the beads. It tends to accumulate round the beads because that's where the reactions are happening. Mm 